Hey, it's Dave Rudin. We haven't done one of these locked ins, and I guess now that people are getting a little bit of uh, time outside, I'll have to change the name of it, but they were popular, and so I decided to start doing some again, and instead of just limiting it to seniors, get some other top athletes, especially uh, those that are going to be coming back this season. And joining me right now is one of the very best from Wilton, Shelby Dijana. Shelby, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Have you been uh, Have you been surviving these last two months? Pretty good. Um, other than you know the boredness and stuff, um, but schoolwork's been keeping me busy, and I've gotten outside to do some training, stuff like that. So all good. Uh, for those who don't know you, uh, Shelby is both a uh, standout soccer player and is one of the top track stars in the state. Just this winter won the Class L championship in the hurdles and uh, FCAC champion in the, in the dash and second in hurdles and uh, is always battling with Tess Stapleton of Ludlow uh, in the hurdles. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing for you it's been kind of tough. I would think in track it's really, really hard for you to train in this situation. Yeah. Yeah, it's been tough um, to do more like running and hurdle workouts and stuff, but I've definitely been doing a lot of strength and conditioning, stuff like that. And luckily the track in Wilton just opened up this past weekend. So I've been able to get up there a few times. In a sport like track, if you're away from it for a long period of time, is it harder to, and you probably haven't been away from it for a long period of time mm -hmm. for the last couple of years, but do you, yeah. do you think it's going to be harder just because of some of the skills involved to get your edge? Um, yeah, I think more of like the technique and stuff will be a, a little bit hard to get back. Um, but I've definitely been trying to stay active. So hopefully my speed will still be there and I'll just have to kind of fine tune the details once I get to compete again. You came to Walton pretty much known for being a top soccer player. Are you surprised by the success that you've had in track? Yeah, for sure. Um, I never thought that I would, that track would be my first sport. Um, but ever since I made the decision, it's been super fun and all the success is great. Uh, you know, for a track athlete right now, I'm guessing uh, your recruiting situation is, is a little different than it probably would have been. Yeah, it's tough because most of the recruiting for track is done based off of your junior year, um, the spring season. So luckily we did get the winter season in, so coaches have something to go off of. But it's been tough, you know, missing such a crucial part of the recruiting process. But I'm confident that everything will end up how it's supposed to. So, yeah. Does it also change the timing of a decision? I don't know if you had had a spring season with a body of work, would that have made it easier for you to maybe sign early if you wanted to as opposed to now? Yeah, I think that one of the biggest differences also with that is being able to visit campuses and meet coaches in person and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely think it's affected it, but I've been able to do some virtual tours and talk on the phone a lot. So at least I have something. <laughs> What's, what's it like when you're doing a virtual tour? <laughs> how, how, how do you, what, what's it like and how do you get a feel for the school? It's kind of weird um, knowing how the school might look because a lot of them are done, are filmed and stuff when it's like a nice sunny day, <laughs> everything like that. So it's kind of weird to imagine what it would be like if the day wasn't so perfect. And, um, you know, it's kind of weird not getting a feel for, the students there and being able to see like, you know, just what they do in their free time and then walking around and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully once things start opening up, I'll be able to see it for real. Okay. So uh, we can get off sports a little bit. What you, what you've been doing the last two months, what's the, what's, what's the most interesting thing you've done uh, with this extra free time? Any, anything that you've never done before that you've started doing? Um, as silly as it sounds, I started to watch TV um, <laughs> because if I were to be, you know, doing my normal school day and practice routine, I wouldn't 
I usually go to school, go to practice, have dinner, do some homework, and by the time I'm done with all that, it's like 10, 30, 11, so sometimes I'll watch some as I'm falling asleep, but most of the, most of the time I don't get to, so I've definitely been watching a lot of Netflix and movies and stuff like that. Actually, I know you're, I, I hardly ever watch TV. I'm so yeah. busy during the normal uh, sports season, school years, and I, I've watched a lot more TV and shows than normal. Any, anything you recommend a lot? Um, I've been pretty hooked on Grey's Anatomy lately. I watched it like once before, but I guess they added some new seasons, so I'm rewatching it. That's like about what, it's been about 20 years or something since that show's been, yeah. it's been a really long time. Yeah. Yeah, it has. What else you've been doing? What's what's virtual school like? Is that uh, is that a lot harder? I've actually talked to one or two uh, Wilton students who said it's actually been pretty difficult, and they've had, you guys have had a lot of work. Yeah, the school day um, goes from nine twenty to one fifty, so it's pretty long. Um, but a lot of our teachers have been giving a lot of work i think if we were in school we wouldn't be getting so much but you know they have to get through everything that they're supposed to by the end of the year but honestly it gives me something to do so i'm not sitting around so it's not too bad what uh if we hopefully have uh some kind of a normal summer what what are your summer plans um definitely a lot of hanging out with friends and traveling um, because I haven't been able to do that, but yeah, even if I did do that, um, my plans for the summer involve a lot of traveling for track and just, you know, family vacations and going with friends and stuff. Okay, and, and I owe you a, a public thank you too, because as everybody uh, has been seeing on my Instagram, I've been making a big push for the Fairfield County Alzheimer's walk, and uh, you got the Walton girls soccer team to sign up. You were one of the first teams, so uh, I want to thank you for that. Of course. And, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you get to have a normal summer, and uh, let's really hope that the next time I see you, it's going to be on the uh, on the Wilton soccer field this fall. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Well, Shelby, it's good seeing you, and thanks for taking a few minutes here. Stay well and uh, have a good summer. Thank you. Stay safe.